There are over 600 skins in Brawl Stars, and today we'll rank every single super rare skin in the game from worst to best. Remember, this list is completely subjective and only my opinion. Now, the worst super rare skin in Brawl Stars is Caveman Frank. Do I even need to explain myself? Come on, it's lame. They could have done so much more with this. Linebacker Bull and Touchdown Bull come next, which I think are fair to put together. They're kind of neat, but I see them as 29 gem skins instead. Red Wizard Barley and Wizard Barley. Just like the football bulls, they're not special. Mascot Daryl is a skin you get for free, and I hate this skin with all my being. It looks like he got bonked on the head with an anvil and his head is just permanently squished. PSG Shelly. You used to be able to get this skin for free before Bandita Shelly, and out of all of the Shelly skins, it's pretty boring. I prefer Bandita Shelly, and that's saying something. Old School Brock. I like how it's a reference to the, well, Old School Brock, but they did him so dirty. DJ Frank. This skin is super underwhelming. He gets a fun animation, but his model is too similar to the base model for this to be any good. Hog Rider Carl. Despite how this skin is literally a hog rider, it has nothing more going for it. For 79 gems, it's not worth the price at all. Koala Nita. Koala Nita is fine, but it doesn't add much else than being a koala. It gives Pan a Nita vibe. Potato Squeak. I never had too much of a problem with Potato Squeak, but he's just gross and kind of nasty. This kind of looks like something Nick DiGiovanni would make on a YouTube short. <laughs> Holiday Pam. The only thing that she has going for her is her immaculate vibe. Beach Time Mortis. Mortis is ready for the beach, but what you see is what you get. It's really nothing special. Beach Brock. Just just like Beach Time Mortis and Pam, it's pretty lame. El Rudo is an OG skin. He's got a sick design, but I don't see it as anything too worth it. Primo has just way better super rare skins. Road Rage Carl. I think his Goblin Carl skin is way better by a long shot, and that's only a rare skin. Ricochet was given to free for everyone for an anniversary after they remodeled Rico. He looks okay, but not a skin I would go out and wear, you know what I mean? Dino Leon turns Leon into a dinosaur. That's about it. Bunny Penny. Depending on who you choose for your free daily reward, Bunny Penny is a definite better option than Mask. Got Daryl. Despite this, it's free, so it's not nearly as cool. Viking Bull is whatever. He's just blonde bull. Boombox Brock. Brock gets a lot more vibrant with the skin, and his rocket launcher turns into a boombox. He gets nothing else though, and it's kinda lame. Vicious BB is a hated skin for a pretty good reason. She gets an ugly model and no effect changes, but I like BB, so she's a bit better. Choco Piper. Out of all of the BT21 skins, this is the weakest. Piper gets a new dress, but that's essentially it. It's just an upgraded version of Pink Piper that forces you to spend gems. Dark Bunny Penny is definitely an improvement to Bunny Penny. The dark to her is cool and menacing, but it's still just Bunny Penny. Calavera Piper. People love this skin, but I just don't see it. She gets a cool texture, yeah, but that's all. Red Dragon Jesse was added in celebration of the Chinese release of Brawl Stars. That's kind of neat, but the skin itself has a lot to be desired. At least Scrappy gets a new color and texture. Sally Leon. Literally nothing changes. No new animation, he just looks a bit different. His attack gets a cool effect though. Arch Villain B. This skin makes B monochrome and her B's turn into this really off-putting blue, black and white. Something about this really freaks me out and I don't like it. DIY Surge. Surge turns into a DIY model. That's kinda cool, he gets a slight attack effect change, but it's barely noticeable. Wicked Stew is really underwhelming. His base attacks barely get any change to them, and his super trail stays exactly the same. Lil Helper Penny. I personally do not like this skin, since the effects aren't the greatest, but it is an exclusive Christmas skin, so it's kind of okay. First Blob Squeak. It's not my first choice for Squeak skins, the Changes to his attacks are subtle and go unnoticed a lot of the time. His model looks kinda cool in game though. Marshall Ruffs. This gives Ruffs attack little share of badges, which feel way cooler than his base lasers. Still, his model is pretty crap. El Atomico seems like a really awesome skin, and it kind of is, but the only thing that's going for him is the little atomic effect around him. Otherwise, he's super basic and just primo. Poco Star is the lamest Poco skin, but despite this, he gets a neat attack effect. Pyra Poco. This is the only Poco skin without strings on his guitar. Other than that, mid skin. B800. This skin is not bad. It's got a super cool theme around it, but like others, it feels way too similar to the base model since, well, Half of it literally is just base model bull. Handsome Cold is anything but handsome. I like how unique the skin is, but other than his model being cool, he has nothing going on for him. Sorry, bro. Barbarian King Bull. This skin is here purely because of the Clash of Clans reference. Gunslinger Colt might have custom effects, but he feels way too basic to be a really cool Colt skin. Brawloween Rosa. This is just a classic skin. She becomes Sand Undertale with her super, so can you really complain? Smooth Lou gets some pretty interesting animations, but I feel they don't stand out enough from base Lou. Super Ranger Brock. Probably one of Brock's 
ugliest skins. This just does not look good. If you like Power Rangers, then sure, Balloon Sally has a really good design itself, but what makes this skin so bad for me is the animations in-game. They feel so clunky and weird. Now this is where things get kind of blurry. A lot of super rare skins are equally good, so take this order with a grain of salt. All of these are really solid skins. White Crow is literally just crow but white. It's nothing special, but it's not too bad. Ho 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 Bo really fits Bo. He becomes Santa Claus, shooting something and dropping presents with his super. It's pretty solid, but he has better skins. El Corazon gets some pretty cool effects. When punching enemies, a heart appears and jumping is fun. It's pretty solid. Summer Jessie is cute or whatever, but she gets some really neat water effects with her attack and super. Pirate Jean shoots a hook with his super, which is pretty cool. His main attack is also okay for a 79 gem skin. Gift Express Jackie has cool effects. <laughs> that, that's pretty much it. Shark Leon is pretty basic. He throws a water spinner blade and he drops fish when he supers. The water attacks aren't always the best looking, but it's fine if you like Leon. Galaxy Storm Lola is super underrated. Excusing the weird alien Toji's worm looking thing, her attack feels very clean. Definitely one of my favorites, but not enough to go anywhere higher on the list. High Score Griff. Despite a really questionable model, you can't lie, he has some killer effects. Swamp Jean is such a swampy little guy, you cannot go wrong with him. Bellhop Mike. I'm not the biggest fan of this Dynamite skin, but he throws out all sorts of suitcases, which are kind of neat. El Mayadormo. This skin doesn't give Primo any super cool effects, but I like how he has a mustache and stuff. <laughs> Ivy Bell. Ivy Bell has a super neat design and animation, but in game she's incredibly lackluster. The vines that bounce between enemies is cool, but that's the extent of it. You can barely notice it. Streetwear Max. I don't know why y'all like the skin so much. Max gets a hoodie. Big whoop! She's so mid, but I do like the casualness of it. Navigator Colette has a really neat design, but that's that's where it ends. <laughs> Princess Shelly. I really like the skin. Her attacks are smooth and I like Ghost Squeak. You cannot go wrong with Ghost Squeak. That's all, you, you just can't go wrong. It's pretty cool. Sugar Rush Sandy has some awesome Brawler references on him, but his main selling point, the super, doesn't have a lot going on, which is kind of unfortunate. Sharktooth Colt gets some pretty cool paint effects, but I just don't see myself maining Colt with this skin too much. Neko B. This skin doesn't add too much, but she becomes a cat. And cats are awesome. Santa Mike is probably my favorite Dynamite skin of all time. He throws these explosive candy canes and a giant sack of explosives as a super. It's also limited! So it's pretty sweet. Snowman Tick throws snowy things and he has some pretty cool effects. <laughs> Fangirl Coney. I honestly prefer any other Colette skin, but this just isn't too bad. King Crab Tick is pretty cool. He's the only frowning Tick skin and gets some decent attack and super effects. Leopard Max and Panther Max are nice. It gives Max some pretty decent shots and a killer super animation. Burger Lou. You know, Burger Lou could be higher up on the list, but the problem with this little bozo is that the cheese is on the bottom of the burger, when it should be on top. It's not realistic and goes against all common practices in burger constructing. Sakura Spike makes Spike pink and shoot flowers, and I think that's amazing. Pure perfect how you are. I like how Grom rides the egg. It's a goofy skin for a goofy guy. Octo Fang is the cheapest Fang skin, and for how popular he is, he's pretty solid. I especially like the trail he gets when he supers. Bell Nani. This skin gets some pretty sick effects. After each attack, there's a trail of confetti that falls. Same with the super. The only thing that's setting the skin back, though, is the model. The bell is kinda weird. Whale Watch Nita has some killer attack effects, and Bruce's spawn animation is really clean. Firefly Rico really makes him look badass. I really like the little fireflies flying around his insides, and I don't know, this is just such a cool skin. Gummy Bear Nita is solid. She gets a good attack animation, and as well as this, her and Bruce change color after every use. That's really neat. V8 Bit. This may be a bit controversial, but I absolutely love this skin. He gets a super strong looking attack and a super cool super area. Like, bro is literally a gas pump. This is so cool! Detective Grey Nor Edition. Only us OGs remember when this was a rare skin. It's definitely not as good as Detective Grey, but it's chill. Detective Grey. This makes Grey really come together. I love the magnifying glass for his teleporter, and his shots feel a lot better to shoot. Bibi Lante has a pretty lackluster design, but her attack animation is one of my favorites. It's powerful, yet simple. I really like Maple Barley's attack textures and puddles. I don't know, it just feels super satisfying to attack. Corrupted Sprout is my favorite Sprout skin. He gets a super dope idle animation, and his Sprout Balls are so powerful. Scorpion Willow's attack carries this skin. When it lands, a scorpion tail comes up from the ground. This is like the kill animation before the kill animation. Beetle Meg. I really like this skin. For only 2,750 bling, you get a serious improvement to our model and attack. Our shots feel powerful and strong. I love it. Moon Bunny Squeak. This makes Squeak look and feel so cute and squishy. That's all. I like him. Leonard Carl. 
No, <laughs> not Leonard from the Angry Birds movie, silly. Carl becomes this goofy little frog, and despite not having a cool super, I find the little emotes endearing when he attacks. Surge Kong. Do I even need to explain? Trick or treat Leon. Cool skin. Pop star Janet. Sorry, Janet Sims. 21 is the best I can go. Her attack animation is whatever, but her bombs dropping is super sick. I also love her idle animation. Hyro Spike is really solid. He gets a little hazmat suit, and his shots get a flaming effect. I would eat this skin. Street Ninja Tara. This Tara skin gets a really neat design, though everything else is kind of whatever. Captain Crow. Crow really doesn't have any bad skins, and Captain Crow is no exception. His daggers get this really awesome look to them. Unicorn Knight Barley does the f***ing <laughs> nene or whatever, but what I love is the puddles. They have this really neat gradient from blue to purple, which looks super mesmerizing. Logmas Spike becomes a festive log. He gets some decent attacks, but his super is where it's at. Awesome skin for an awesome brawler. Mr. Fly, Count Pangular, and Daruma Mr. P. I think all three of these skins are pretty equal. They all change the porters and have really nice effects. You just cannot go wrong with these skins for Mr. P. Emerald and Ruby Prince Sprout get really awesome effects. His main attack is a little bouncy sword and his walls are castles. Honestly, such a cool skin for a cool little guy. Okay, now we're moving on to the top 10 super rare skins in my opinion. At number 10, we have Quick Draw Edgar. He's really sick looking. This is a huge improvement from his base model and makes him feel that much more powerful. Stonks Pam is literally stonks. Flex your riches with the thickest. Harajuku M's. This may have the cringiest dance, but I love her attack and super. Definitely one of the best on this list. Krampus Ash is really creative. He's like this mystery box of gifts and is really festive. Dark Clown Sam has one of the coldest idle animations in the game. He's so freaky and I like it. Most of all, I think when his super lands, the bear trap looking thing looks incredibly cool. Hermes Max could have been an epic skin, but it's not. She gets some super cool attacks and I love the wings behind her when she runs. Zombie B is incredible for a super rare. Not only does she get a sick attack animation, but she also gets a spooky little ghost dude as her bubble. This could easily be an epic skin. D4RRY1, not only does he get a fire model, but his attacks feel super impactful and powerful. At number 2, we have Wood Spirit Chester. He is so wacky, he gets a really neat idle animation, but along with this, he gets a custom animation for every super in his arsenal. Definitely incredible value for the cost, and it looks super awesome while it's at it. And finally, in my honest opinion, the best super rare skin is Dumpling Daryl. Not only is it exclusive, but he shoots soy sauce and is dressed like a dumpling! <laughs> That's awesome.